Okay, I'm hoping that the wind's not going to be too uh, loud. So really, I'm just kind of scanning this to show you. I have pretty much the same setup as you, okay? Uh, the thing that I want you to notice is, so I have two straps going forward, okay? One there, this one. But I don't have any crisscrossed in the back or coming back, you know, pointing back this way. I don't, I don't have that. So these two straps are going to hold the boat, plus I have this strap. I use the O-ring straps. I go around uh, that, that bar right there, okay, with carpet, and then come down. And I know you don't have the D-rings there, but that's what I was talking about earlier, uh, having the, uh, the D-rings. So I go there. So I have one, two, three actually six because the other side's the same way because the boat's at an angle it's going to want to go this way okay so that's why i have three pulling the boat that way you can see where i'm able to go up here to this outer i-beam because there's not a piece of angle iron here on yours there is so that's why on your type of trailers we have to go right there on this wheelie bar okay and I do the same thing that you did when I have that trailer okay the reason I only have two straps up here one on each side is because the boat is wanting to go that way anyway because of the angle so I don't need a whole bunch of straps to stop it from going forward the weight of the boat itself is wanting to go this way okay so again same thing here this boat is flatter. It's not at as steep an angle, but I still have the two straps coming down. You just always want to protect anywhere it might rub against a trailer or, you know, a sharp edge that might cut your strap, you know. And because this one is not at an angle, I don't I did not go, you know, right here with the o-ring and then come forward. Okay, so I just have these two straps on the front just holding it down because it's, it's almost level. It's just a little bit up. I walk around here and uh, I mean th this side's going to be the same as that side. You know, two straps coming down, but they're going forward. You know, I don't crisscross because I don't need to. These, these, these stands here the tall ones aren't going to move okay then I'm coming down again again carpet where there's touching the trailer carpet touching the trailer carpet touching this sharp edge right here and then on this side you see I went to the same place there okay I went up here to this bar went around it with my strap with the o-rings on it carpet around there straight down to the d-rings and then um, again up there uh, always find you some rope or you can pick up a couple of these little ratchet straps because you want to hold that tongue back so that it doesn't fly forward and and hit anything plus it shortens the distance that you uh, uh, your overall between the two boats because sometimes hold on let me get back here when they load there they want to load these two boats where between this exhaust and that exhaust is like maybe a foot, okay? Now, I break the tongues away and push this boat back all the way to the end of the trailer. We can't have overhang, but I push it to the end. And now, you see, I have like three feet in between the two boats instead of just a foot. I will use overhang up here, which we're not supposed to do. But the only state that bothers us is the state of Washington. But you can get a permit that will allow you to overhang in the front like this. And you can get one for an entire year. And you don't have to mess with it after that. So, um, okay, that's all I got for now.